Welcome back to My Rise Unleashed. I am your host, Attack Slug, still on that Psycho Sally gaming business. Alfie, what you got to say? Sal! How you feeling after the big debut? Honestly, not great. Are you sure Down Up Down Up is supposed to be a kid's show? I did what you said, and Gigi didn't seem to like it one bit. Really? She walked off set muttering something that was firmly not kid-friendly. Okay, so I may have heard some feedback from Gigi. And I think this was all some sort of miscommunication. I've met its fences and convinced Gigi to give you another shot. So it's your fault. Okay, thank you, Alfie. And now that this is all sorted, I'll relax and be more myself. That just doesn't feel like me, so I'm glad we can drop the kid-friendly tone. Drop the kid-friendly tone? Heavens no! That was right on the money. The miscommunication was that I imply you were ready to go on air by yourself. This time, I'll be on set to help guide you. That sounds like a bad idea. To guide me. <laughs> no need to thank me. I've got your back. Now that I've done some psychoanalysis on your whole vibe... Hey... That should be your catchphrase! Psycho-analysis! Relax. Uh, not sure that particular catchphrase is my vibe, Alfie. Really? That'd be great for building your brand. No matter, just keep it kid-friendly, on the show again, and do your thing. Oh, and Gigi wants to know who you uh, want to play as. What choices do I get? Sure, I guess, Alfie. Is there anyone Gigi has in mind? Some really great options according to my internet search. Hulk Hogan! The Heart Foundation, Stone Cold Steven Austin. Wait. They all sound nice. Hold on now. Steve, Alfie, it's Steve Austin. Ah, okay. Well, take your pick. So I'm assuming a tag team match player. We're not doing that one. So obviously, give me a hell yeah. The bottom line, I'm playing a Stone Cold. What? No need to be so forceful, but okay. Psycho Sally wanted a rematch, so put on your party hats, because here we go with a match that started the biggest catchphrase in WWE history, Austin 316. The second biggest after today. My clients is the best ever. Really? Sally, wanna hit us with your dulcet words? I'm still, you know, working on it. No, you're not. Let her have it. I'm gonna put you in psychoanalysis. Yes. Yes, you are. Ending suplex analysis. Okay, look, man, it's Monday. Never thought I'd pine for the return for my marginally entertaining co hosts but here we are. But, obviously, we're not playing as timeless Tony just yet, so that move set is not going to happen until I regain control of our star here, and Jake the Snake can chill and relax with these punches to all Stone Cold. What? Uh... Cheese and crumbs! Cheese and crumbs indeed. What the hell, Jake the Snake? Like, what even was that? What even was that when you consider that you put me on the apron and then did, did nothing with it and then waited for me to punch you and then... Bro, I don't even know. There, thank you, shoulder block. Let's make short work here of this, hopefully, the snake. Nope, atomic drop. Nope, reverse. Like the meter is filling so slow. How about one of these? Yeah, and here's two, yeah. You piece of trash. Talk about your Psalms, your John 316. All right, it's a star performance, Look, Sally. Circle. The office actually prefers superstars. Superstars, I love it. In the final Ooh. analysis, you're a superstar. I'm gonna need some analysis after this episode. Yeah, it's all that trash. That's right. And then go to the top. Austin, not a high flyer, but woo, drops the elbow. All the same. Now then, get yourself back into the ring, Jake the Snake. Pick you up, and it should be a running sig. Oops, a running sig. Nope, he caught me. No Thez press for you. 
Drop down. Early back. But a drop. Nah. Jake the Snake. What the hell was that? It was supposed to be a Thad's practice. He reversed it. Like, are you freaking kidding me here on a, a Monday morning? I don't agree with that assignment here. I want the win. I don't want the DDT. Uh, if at all possible. No. And yes, these kickouts getting me even more meter. So a combo from Old Stone Cold. And Jake the Snake has finished, which is not good for me. Gosh darn it. How about I give you a DDT? Slides in to and a two count. Two, a two sweet count. Okay, now. Wake up taunt. You piece of trash. Wake up taunt. Thez press. Austin, Austin, Austin. And here's busted open on the Thez press. And here's Tilia. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. A one, a two, a th what? I repeat, what? I was done here, Jake. I was done here with the Bulldog. I was done. It was over. Not a high flyer, Jake the Snake, but here he goes uh, with that. The wake-up taunt for a what? The Black's Handle? Like, whatever it is, it's the jumping nothing because you ain't getting nothing there, Jake the Snake. Nada. How about I work the neck and then tap you out because you're busted open? No, that's... Look, man. The hold thing, I appreciate it being in the game, but it's generally pretty useless. Like, you gotta really, really... Do some damage. Side, Russian leg sweep. And number two! What? On the Stone Cold Stunner. Hooks the leg. Referee. A one. A two. A three. And there it is. That stack of dimes you call a neck. All right, let's go. I don't know what you and your agent are trying to do to our show, but I have not been more embarrassed since, since I agreed to do a show for The Miz. It's a pretty high bar. I'm sorry, Alfie. He just... He tries. He tries very hard. Psychoanalysis? I don't think I've ever heard a person more thirsty to get a catchphrase over. But it wasn't just him, Miss Golly Wiz. Were you trying to tank our show? Maybe. I wasn't. Alfie said it was a kid show. Really? And you trusted him instead of your own instincts? Gee whiz, indeed. You're just as clueless as your agent. Golly gee willikers. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Wait, you know what? No, I'm not sorry. Regardless of what went down, you can't just stand there berating me. I'm not going to be bullied by you over my performance on a video game show. That's fair, because we're also on a wrestling show, which means I get to go to my very best buddy, The Miz, general manager of SmackDown, and get him to make us a match, unless you're afraid of a little psychodrama. That's not my catchphrase. But fine. You want to fight? That's what I'm here to do. And you can bet it won't be kid-friendly. Where was that girl on my show? Alfie, this is all your fault. There she is! The woman of the hour! The up-and-coming star! What are you talking about, Alfie? Psycho! Analysis! I got it trending online. I'm already talking to merch and... Just because you're trending does not always mean it's a good thing. Alfie, just stop! Please. What, what's wrong? I saw you talking to Gigi and figured she was ready to get rid of her dud of a co-host and bring you in full time. Gigi Dolan is bringing me up to SmackDown to beat the hell out of me on live TV for ruining her show. Oh. Yeah. She left me a few voicemails. Miz too. And that Troy guy. And? Honestly, I could tell from the tone that it was bad news. But Alfie Juniper is a, a good news guy, so... This has all turned into a giant mess. Oh, gosh, kid. I'm sorry your dreams aren't coming true. Being a movie star isn't my dream, Alfie. And if it means changing my whole personality and jumping through hoops, I'm not interested. I'm a wrestler. I'm already living my dream. And you're gonna have a big match on SmackDown against one of their top stars? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. So, 
all in all, this has been a success. So thanks to you. You know what? Maybe it has. I guess you're not the only one who can do a little psychoanalysis. Stop. Alfie! Oh, you. We fight on Friday nights, Michael. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. These two short-lived co-hosts step into the ring as adversaries, proving once again that entertainment is a fickle business. Oh, you're telling me. A few weeks ago, these two were trading banter. Now they're trading blows. With how awkward Psycho Sally seemed on Down Up, Down Up, I'm just excited to see her back in the actual ring. Fickle, fickle, fickle. Here we are with Gigi and being fickle. And then hopefully back to timeless Tony with that nice spike DDT. I like it a lot. Head to the top rope. That's not going to be enough time to not get ourselves triangle. Nope. No, that was the hubris sometimes. But that one I caught. So leg pick with that. GG. I'm going to get that Spanish fly on you. And that's going to be all she wrote for this SmackDown matchup. Again, a spike. Floats over. Hooks the leg. Just car. Count it. Two, and a two count. All right, look. We are so far from where we need to be on our SIG and finish. It's kind of absurd. Oh, she whiffed the, the last one and then stomps the elbow. Working the limbs. Not good for me. And nope, the PK to the back also. Uncomfortable. I'd say that much. And bro, the Kawada kicks. Like, why? Since when? I don't know. Rolling, rolling, rolling to the ropes and patiently waiting is GG to uh, do something. <laughs> what was that? That was terrible. Whatever it was, it was not it was supposed to happen. Clearly. Now get up. We have more moves to do with Psycho Sale, who I can't change her moveset. Unfortunately, so gonna be the same every time. Hurricane Rana, plenty of those, but I can try some more combos, I guess, like some grab combos. Mm, yes, like that a lot. All right, a one, a, still a one, but however, we have very <laughs> Swanton Bomb. We have a very close to uh, where things need to be, but Gigi is at finish. I'm not sure how. I'm really not sure how that happened, but here we are, and here we go. So that's potentially a problem if we can't... Bro, can you get the timing on something right? I know it's Monday, but still. There. Inziguri. Okay, and she caught. I got one kick in, and I got the old Tanahashi. Go ace, but holy hell. GG. Nah. I countered it. Uh-uh. To the leg. Kick to the face. Pick you right up. Not even going to give you a second to rest here. And Spanish fly. Pinfall. There's your finish. Count it. Get over there, Jeskar. One, two, three. What a finish. Story complete with Psycho Sally. More my faction garbage I don't care about. But Justine is here. My story progress is uh, Justine and then Liv Morgan. So hopefully finishing our day here with this Justine matchup. WWE is getting ready to launch a new line of action figures. And they want someone to do the unveiling at the next comic convention. Naturally, I thought of you. But Ava Moreno has been whining that she'd be the biggest draw. Ava convinced me to give her the spot if she can beat you in a ladder match. Apparently she thinks she's got those on lock. Winner gets the appearance and a featured action figure. Can you back me up and snag the contract above the ring? Sure. Ava Moreno. It's moveset Monday. What you gonna do when I climb this ladder and you get nothing? 
Boom, Gord Buster. Shut up, Byron. No, it's a ladder match, so relax. So relax. Yeah, come on, Ava, what are you gonna do? Hmm? You're gonna jump? You're gonna just punch the air? Like, you're gonna try, no, this is what you're gonna do, you get hit with the ladder, that's what you're gonna do. And then, my friends, we do what is the usual ladder. That's not the right spot. Quickly, 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 hit her! Over heat, no, still not right. Why? But why? Just keep getting hit with it, Ava. I don't really care. I feel like it's not going to be the right spot, though. i got to kind of sh shove it a little bit to... And then we hammer throw. That's the, the goal of the ladder match, is to do that. And then climb the ladder. Reach for the contract, or the, yes, the briefcase. Oops. One. Two. Three. Down, 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 down. Ava. If I lose here because of that, I'm going to be real mad about it. Oh, my God, the power. Looks like money. Smells like money. Ava. Nah. You're going to climb now? Bro, not even. Punch her. In the legs. There. Pick you right up. And push you right back over the hammer throw. Thanks for coming. Thanks for playing, Ava. But I am the ladder match expert. So here we are. And here we -a go. Easy. Easy. All we have is this final one. So let's see what Liv has to say and clear out my... DMs. Hey stranger, how's it going? No, you must be swamped with press since your movie releases soon, but any chance you could help me out with something? What's up? I've got a tag match coming up and need a partner. Want to step in? I could use your star power. You could and I can. You're right. You could use my star power. I'd be happy to help. Count me in. That's awesome. And hey, a win can only help promote the suspicious sandwich, right? Thanks. The 11th second. This is a story gate, but I will tell you, playa, holla holla, this will be happening on the show tomorrow. I am your host, Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.